Well, as they say, when it rains, it pours. And I just finished filming my Optima unboxing, and here we have my new DR10. We're gonna take on the world! There we go. This is the Lucas Oil Edition of the DR10. Look at that. Beauty. Alright, so here we go. We get around the desk. Uh, I'm sure if you're interested in DR10, you've seen all this goodness before. So I won't bore you with it. The coolest thing about this, the only thing that really makes it new, is the body. But I want to get into drag racing for some time. And this is the most affordable way to do it. I almost got the Traxxas, and I really like the new, the new Ford trucks from Pelosi. They're no prep, but in the end, I could get one of these, and I got one. Inside, we have the car. There it is. Okay, so let's take it out. Let's take it out. There's our manual. Oh, a bunch of extra parts quite a few extra parts in there pretty nice the manual also you can kind of see in the background does have the lucas oil branding i'll pull that out to show you there we go pretty nice and we have the uh standard certificate of conformity look at that is the controller so standard controller these are all right when I got my DB8 uh, this top panel was broke but this one's in good shape They're actually not a bad controller nice foam on it can't do the one-handed driving is kind of difficult it's quite a wide controller but they are nice and they take four four double A's okay now it should actually lift out Ta da there we go let's uh get rid of this cardboard monstrosity and let's put the car down all right let's uh let's take a closer look at that let's take a nice close look at that beautiful beautiful lucas oil DR10. Take a look at the back. Pretty nice. See the holes there. It's got a little bit of plastic up top. Let's pull that off. Beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful car. All right, so there we are. There is the DR10. Now let's quickly. That's unboxing. We might as well. Oh, these clips come off really nice and easy. I like that. Um, pull the clips and we'll have a look inside. There's really nothing different between the other DR10s and this one. It's just this shell. And it is quite well done. The cutting is pretty good. There's a little kind of flat spot there on that wheel well. And on that one too. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Um, quite nice inside. They did a good job with the paint. I believe it is paint. It feels like paint, not like printing. Beautiful. And I like, it's a little bit more aerodynamic. With that I had an air dam or whatever you want to call it, that lip on the front. Man, these shells are big because the drag cars are based on buggies. And there's what we have under the hood. So pretty nice, nice big tires. Now I've never driven a drag car before. This is my first one. I am pretty excited. So we will throw 2S and then maybe a 3S in this and 
we'll take it out and we'll give it a run then I'll talk to you about what I think of this um, Wow we can put in all different size of battery so after we get take it out and give it a run if it's not raining tomorrow that'll be tomorrow um, I'll give you my thoughts on this car and maybe on this hobby of drag racing all right we're gonna test this out yeah. I did a little protection on the body Put some tape, stop the wheels from rubbing, put some strengthening on the front, put the rear wing on, and put a little protective tape there, the paint is already chipping, just from shipping. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, so we're running a 130C Sunda Pow 8000 mega milliamp uh, battery. Let's stick this in. Uh, let's put that on the servo, I guess. That should work. Yeah, I gotta work on the diff. Oh, man. Look at it. I guess I need a better room. Mm hmm? Hmm? Need a what? A better room. Let's do it with that. I have to learn how to do this. Uh, Come on! I love these body clips, by the way. These are brilliant. So we have to do some work on our on our body. So we have repaired the front. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't come apart again. See the crack down there. So hopefully that works out. It's still a bit soft because I used so much epoxy. All right, so we have three S today. But let's try a few runs on 2S.
So we just jammed it in there. And um, these traps are kind of useless. So let's see how it looks. Yeah. So I had a bit of a chance to take this out and drive it, but as we're not allowed to be out of the compound, there's no real good space here. Um, as you've seen in the video, there was a few crashes. So we were running this 3S uh, 100C Gaoning. It's starting to swell a little bit. I don't know if it's a good battery. And it was basically just jammed in there. Um, like that and <laughs> no straps or anything so it was kind of loose so we tried on 3s this car is definitely better on 3s um well more fun so i'm well, gonna have to discharge that before i was running this uh 8000 milliamp 130 c 2s battery this is a really good racing pack very solid sunda pow i don't know if you guys have ever heard of that brand, but they're a nice battery. Um, we definitely didn't go through a battery pack. Uh, the car is in relatively good shape. Um, no scrapes on the bottom really. A little bit dusty. Uh, but we did crash it quite a few times. Initial thoughts? Now I've never done this before. I had trouble with the GPS to get it working. It's just all the buildings are interfering with the satellites. We didn't have a nice long straight area and every area we went to there were people. So it makes it kind of hard to do a test, but my initial thoughts is this is a super fun sport to get into. Um, it takes quite a bit of skill to keep that car straight, uh, even though it wasn't going as fast as I'd hoped. So what I think I will do in the future, I might get belted wheels because especially under 3S it balloons quite a bit, but since competition is 2S only, I'm thinking I might switch out the battery this is a 3300 kv uh sensorless brushless motor and i'm wondering if we could go up to like four and a half thousand or five thousand or something like that um for the kv so put in a faster motor and see if it still has enough torque to to spin the wheels um and anyway let's see i might do that i didn't know but when I bought it, but there is a gyro. So all that video footage, this car does come with a gyro built in, um, which you also can't use in competition. I hope the lockdown ends so I can take this car out and give it a proper, proper test in a wider area. Less things to smash into when you lose control and less people to avoid. Um, love this DR10 though. I'm very happy I bought it. Now the body, the body has taken some damage and you guys saw the crashes. Um, there's a close up view. I've actually put in repair up here. It's still not all set up. It's still kind of soft. So I ran it today anyway. And it's keeping that corner, that corner in shape because it actually cracked all the way to the top there. Um, a little bit of road rash, some black lines on it. 
The top is completely scuffed. I think that's showing up pretty good on camera because it flipped a couple times. Um, so I guess we hit some car tires or something there. Uh, really cool. I love the body. Um, I think the DR10 is a super fun way to get into this sport and I hope to have um, more chances to run in the future. I do have a Mac, not a Mac, XR, uh, XR8 uh, with a 4300 censored KV motor, the bigger, the bigger spindle on the, on the, uh, on the motor. So you need a different size pinion, but I might put that in. It's 550 though. So the weight would be shifted a bit. Um, I do have that in my, uh, red and white monster truck up there. Um, so I have some of the electronics I could throw in right now. I, I, even though I got this car and even though I just got the Optima mid, it's really difficult to get parts. So I'm still waiting for parts for my TD2 and like motor ESC, they've been on order for like a month and a half, but it's very hard to get things to come into Shanghai. I think I will do some upgrades on this. One thing I will do definitely is stiffen up the rear, the rear diff. It's pretty loose. So um, I might put some diff putty in there. So I got some Tamiya diff putty. Because when you're taking off, if one wheel loses a bit of traction, it takes all the power and spins quicker. And if this wheel is spinning, spinning quicker than that one, it'll slide the car. So one wheel spins faster than the other, it will slide the car left or right. And that's what's happening. But as far as suspension goes, as far as general design, I like the design of these arms up front. Um, there's a nice droop to the car when you set it down. Okay, it uses about half the suspension on the front and about a quarter of the suspension on the back, just the weight of the car. This with no battery in it. So I do like that. I think that's excellent. Um, I was gonna get a low C no prep and they have a really weak um, uh, wheelie bar. This bar seems actually quite solid. Uh, I wish it was adjustable. I'd actually like it to be a little bit higher. I think there's smaller wheels I can put on it and that will give me a little bit more room for it to pop wheelies. Um, awesome car. If you can get one, go for it. Um, I think if you get this nice Lucas Oil body, maybe get a J Concepts or Proline or something um, uh, body for the DR10 and keep this one nice. Don't do what I did. Don't. Don't do what I did. Listen to what I say. Don't do as I do um, because it is unique. And I looked online, I was thinking about buying another one and I can't actually find them for sale. I can find the original DR10 bodies and they're about $106 US and that's kind of expensive. So over a hundred bucks for the body and the car is only about 400 or 350 or something. So that's kind of crazy. Anyway, that's all for this video. Loving the car. Uh, we'll, once we get out of lockdown, I will take it out and do some more tests. I'm trying to convince a friend of mine um, to get one too because it's way more fun to race against someone else than just to race against yourself. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, catch you next time. Oh, I almost forgot. Like and subscribe. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the huge milestone, the ginormous milestone of 200 subscribers. And uh, it's been a lot of work to get up to this very small number. And we're almost at it. So click that subscribe button and let's make our awesome dreams of one fifth of a thousand. One fifth of the way to being able to monetize something and help pay for all these cars. One fifth of the way there. That's our first. Next one is 500. Next one's a thousand. So let's hit the 200. All right, guys. Have a good day. Catch you next time.